popular in mathematics. Um, it's almost like uh, an oxymoron. That was the first thing I thought of when I saw this because math isn't really that popular. But uh, there are people who like math, which is cool. And um, I like making math videos. So I thought I would make this video to show you this really old book I got. And it's called Popular Mathematics. This is actually a book I got for free. And I'm sorry, I just have to smell it. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells incredible. This one's by Denning and Miller. And let's just take a look at this book and see what you find. Uh, there's some interesting stuff in here that I think you'll think is cool. So I got this book for free. It was a gift. Popular Mathematics. The Understanding and Enjoyment of Mathematics by Denning Miller. 1942, WMH Wise and Company, Inc., New York. Copyright 1942. Cool, right? 280M. Let's see what this says here. And then again, there's some really, there's an interesting thing in here I'm going to show you. I found something in this book, which is one of the cool things about old math books. Mathematics is not a hard or a complicated subject. I, I don't agree with that. I, I do think it's hard and complicated. So in spite of its awesome reputation, it is the simplest and clearest of the studies that deal with reasoning and the laws of thought. Well, that is true. Most people dislike mathematics because it starts with arithmetic. Okay. Now, this is unfortunate because there is about as much cause for hating mathematics on account of an ability to handle long division as there is for refusing to read Shakespeare because you were slow in learning your letters. For mathematics and schoolbook arithmetic have nothing whatsoever to do with each other. Many mathematicians cannot add. Yeah, so it's trying to make the point that, um, you know, math is not just about arithmetic, and it's true, it's about a lot more. Here it talks about what is mathematics, arithmetic without long division, pick them up and lay them down, much ado about nothing, and notice it has like the subjects, you see? Arithmetic, geometry, algebra, united we stand, that's geometry. The eternal triangle, trigonometry, one big happy family, conic sections, and we've got some solid geometry, and some spherical trig, and some calculus. At the end, it's practical mathematics. And so this is a book that is intended to be read. So you, you'll notice the layout of the book. It almost looks, um, it's kind of like a novel format. It doesn't necessarily look like a textbook. Uh, most textbooks don't look like this. So it's a little bit different. It's a nice book to get if you can find it. Um, just for reading and learning and getting a different perspective on different things. The, the content you're going to find in this book is, is unlike the content in other math books. Okay, it's not, it is not a textbook. There's something here. What is this? Instructions for using the reflector camera 6x6. Six six. So this is something interesting. And there's some stuff here. It looks like some measurements for some clothes. Is there a date? Printed in Germany. Wow. Wow. I'm going to have to give this a whiff too. Yeah, it smells really old. Look at that. What an old camera. I wonder when this was from. You know what we can do? Let's, let's check the copyright really quickly, just, just, just to see. We already did, but let me just check it again, just to see how old this possibly is. Most people use uh, phones. Yeah, 1942. Wow, World War II era uh, math book. Yeah, so this is from 42 or, or later. And it's got instructions for using the camera. You know, today nowadays we have phones, which make things um, you know, a lot easier thanks to computers, which again, uh, you know, if you think about computer science and all that stuff, you know, all, all that um, uses a lot of mathematics. So I think math is responsible for a lot of the technology uh, we have today. Yeah, so it's an interesting book and I just wanted to show it to you. It's called Popular, or pro sorry, uh, Popular Mathematics. And I think it's a fun one to read. So if you're looking for a fun book, check it out. I don't know if this exists online. I have no idea, uh, but I'll leave a copy. I'll leave a link uh, to a copy of this book in the description if I can find a copy online, so you can check it out. Also, if you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe. And if you want to learn math, check out my courses, mathsorcerer.com. Until next time, keep doing mathematics.